Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about pre-performance routines. So routines and rituals are ancient. They're something that animals do. They're something that humans do uh, since the very beginning of time, right? We have them in religion. We have them in school. We have them in ceremonies. They've always been a part of our culture. They've always been a part of our lives, even if we don't think about them as rituals or routines, but they're incredibly helpful and they really, really, really help our nervous system. The reason why routines and rituals are so freaking good and why you should integrate them into your life, you probably already have, but let's just make this a conscious effort, like for real, for real, is for four predominant reasons. Routines make us feel safe. We know them, we've done them before. It feels comforting because it's not something new. It's a set of actions that you repeat over and over again, because they're very often repetitive. So this would be, for example, if your pre-performance routine is you always put on your left cleat before your right cleat, or you always put on your left glove before your right glove, or you always listen to a particular song. This is comforting to me because I've always done it this way. The second thing, which goes right along with that, is you don't have to make as many decisions when you're doing a routine. You're going to get hyped up or calmed down. You're going to get your uniform on, your jersey. You're gonna get your shoes on. You're gonna get prepared. You're gonna get prepared where usually you would have to think about getting prepared, but you're getting prepared in your routine. What shoe am I gonna put on first? Cause you know, you do it in order. What warm up am I gonna do? Well, you always do the same one. So you don't even have to think about it. It takes away your decisions. It takes away how much you have to think about it. Three, it cuts down on our stress. Like our brain literally when we do rituals limits the amount of errors that we become aware that we're making. Long story, but that's the non-scientific version. Cause usually when we're stressed out, our brain is thinking about like, I got to save your life. But this ritual then comes in and helps us overcome that where the end result is we're prepared, we're safe, and we feel less stressed. And fourth, this isn't always particularly relevant in pre-performance routines. Oftentimes they're done alone, but they also give us a sense of community when they're done with other people. So maybe you have something that you do with your coach. Maybe you have something that you do with your team where it's just like one thing at the end or as a part of your pre-performance routine, maybe you always talk to one teammate. Maybe you always talk to your co-trainer whatever it may be, it gives you a sense of community because you're doing it all together. And that also helps your brain feel safe. How would you create a pre-performance routine? Or maybe you already have a ritual that you do before you perform. Well, the first thing that I always recommend, and I'll leave you with this, is to figure out if you are somebody who needs to get hyped up or somebody who needs to calm down. So play around with that if you're not already sure and try adding in some hype music. And if the hype music doesn't work for you, use some more chill music. If the chill music isn't doing it for you, find something that's in the middle, find something that, that fits your flow, what you need. Again, it's your pre-performance routine. It's your ritual. So you get to create it however you want to. We need to play to our strengths and support our weaknesses. So we really need to know, are we hype people? Or are we you need to chill out a little bit and kind of create that routine around that. So that at the end, again, we're taking away the stress by creating this routine, not having to make decisions, getting super focused. And the more that we repeat this routine, our brain says, okay, now that I've started my routine, it's time to get into the zone. And you can put all kinds of things in your pre-performance routine. Maybe you wanna say affirmations. Maybe there's a song that you love. Maybe again, the order of doing your warm up or particular movements. Don't be afraid to change your routine. Just because you've done it one time doesn't mean you always have to do it that way. And this, at the end of the day, will help your performance by helping your brain feel super safe. Well, that was some neuroscience that I tried to make easy and I really hope that that worked. Your nervous system loves routine and patterns, so please keep doing it. It won't work the first 10 times probably the way that you expect. Give it some time, keep editing it, find something that works for you and we'll see you next time.